Dungeon Master Mark here again with another Dungeons and Dragons special for Fingal Libraries. Libraries have been very generous and purchased this Essentials Kit, which you're going to be using for an upcoming quest. I'll tell you more about that later, because what we really want to do is unbox this. Yay. See what's in it. My friend Max is here with me. Hi, Max. Hi. Let's see what we got. Well, most important aspect has to go first, doesn't it? Always the dice. Let's see what we've got in here. There's nearly two full sets in here, definitely almost enough for two players. And it is, this is the first D&D game that's been set up to play with two players. They brought in the sidekick rule, so you can have uh, a dungeon master. One player is a dungeon master, one player is the player, but the player also plays their own sidekick. It's like Batman controlling Robin. A trick is, I suppose, to keep the, keep the two characters separate, to have them different enough from each other. They'd have to be different personalities for sure. Yeah. Would you like a roll off? Hmm. Why not? And try out the new dice tower. Yep, yep. I like it. An eight. eight. A four. Mm. Two. Would you like another go? Do winner takes all two d six right? Okay, let's go. Eight, not bad, not bad. A four hand. Oh, well done. Thank you, thank you. Oh, victory, sweet victory. <laughs> On with the show. On with the show. <laughs> and Thanks this is what a professional. <laughs> this is what I was looking forward to seeing. It has a screen included, so the dungeon master can keep all of his secrets. Ha 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 ha! Let's have a look at it. Like that, the paintings that they get are just beautiful. Anyway, that's why I always use them for the posters and the backgrounds. Nice threatening looking dragon down there. Yeah. I guess this is what the aim of the quest is. It's going to be something to do with that white dragon, I imagine. Especially as it's on the cover of the quest book. Let's have a look at that. Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. Well, okay. I think we've just confirmed. Age 12 plus. Yeah, we'll be having... You can play with us from when you're 8. At the recommend that age is 12 plus i think just because there's so many rules in it you know yeah it's just for kids to be able to follow it is difficult. yeah like i've you had guidance. yeah i've had some some uh younger people going well i'm i'm seven and i'm enthusiastic about it but it can be just too much for someone like that you know yep. the nice wee maps on it too sword coast Alpha's camp here's van dal and where the previous adventure ends and I spire peak so they're close by. Okay. Lovely. Loads of maps. Spoilers. Spoilers. Crossbows, waterfalls, spinning blades. I'm liking the sound of this one, aren't I? There's a good quest in this actually. And a lot of different places you can go. And monsters. Look at the banshee. Again, some of the artwork in this just blows me away. Oh, look at the tongue Look at that. What is that? A ghoul, I guess. Looks like the ghoul's in The Witcher. <laughs> Don John Raskin. Must be one of the characters. Can you see him there? Oh, there we go. Don John Raskin and Falcon the Hunter. I guess they're NPCs you'll come across. I mean, there's a map in there. Mm. Have a look. Ooh, it sure is. Got our magic items. More magic items. Like that. Oh, oh more magic okay. Items. <laughs> Initiative cards. Had to get. I'm guessing this is what the card box is for. Oh, you can choose different quests. 
quest cards. Oh yeah. So that would explain. It's, there's nine different quest cards in there, so there's probably nine different quests in the book, right? Because that is that's cool. Okay, so this is this big changes over from from just playing out of the book. It's, I think it's gonna make it more accessible for a lot of people. Magic charms. What's this? There's all our other background characters. And it tells you on the other side. It tells you their names and about them. It's, I guess and these are for the dungeon master because the DM is going to be playing all these NPCs. Whoever you come across, they probably match up to the other quests. Again, there's nine of them. All making sense. We've got our character sheets. Your spells and character traits on the back, and your stats on the front, like that one. Oh yeah, that's looking something like a map there, isn't that? Oh, nice. That's is that the same one again? I think so. Oh yes. So that's that's a big map. We're gonna need a bigger table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because that, that's A4, A3, A2. And double sided. Fandal in there. And that's where the starter set also takes place there. So you could you have to use that with with the quest in the starter set as well. And then you have your rule book for the players. Aha. Uh -huh. So yeah, if you're starting off with the player's handbook, as most players would have, you're picking up a 300 page hardback tome. And you imagine giving that to an 8 to 12 year old, it'll look quite intimidating. But I think you still have to be a little advanced at that age for these. It is. Um, but the way you're doing it, they won't need to know all this. They don't need to know the rules once yeah. Dungeon Master does. Exactly. And they pick it up as they play the easiest always say that the easiest way to pick it up is to play it and um, so if, if you're curious about it we'll have a go on this coming up yeah our current quest is oversubscribed but we do have a waiting list going email us at blanche library at fingal.ie and we'll get you added onto that list we we'll are doing games particularly for eight to twelve year olds but if you're in a different age range you're getting in touch anyway and uh, we get enough people together, we will set you up with a group. But that's all from me. And that's all from Mags. Bye. Bye.